October 2nd. My soul wait only upon God, for my expectation is from Him. Psalm 62, 5. This trust implies a ceasing from self, and from all confidence in the arm of flesh, and from all reliance in unbelieving, carnal plans and schemes to obtain deliverance from the pressure of present trial and supplies for present need. It involves a constant, prayerful, and believing leaning on the Lord, a quiet, patient waiting for the Lord, a peaceful, childlike, passive resting in the Lord, and a holy, filial walking with the Lord. Recollect a leaning upon Christ, a waiting for Christ, a resting in Christ, and a walking in Christ. Only do this, and all your trials and temptations, needs and sorrows, only trust Him to lead you by a right way to bring you to heaven. Only trust Him to appear in His own good time to deliver you from a present cross, to remove a present burden, to supply a present need, and to conduct you into the green pastures and beside the sweet flowing waters of his truth and love. So delightsome to him will be this calm, submissive trust, so honoring of his faithfulness, and so glorifying to his name this full implicit confidence he will honor and bless you by granting the desires of your heart and bestowing from the plenitude of his resources every blessing that you ask and need. Above all trusts, trust to Jesus your priceless soul. Relax your grasp upon everything else but Jesus. Let go your religious duties and doings, your sacraments and prayers, your works and righteousness and Babel-built hopes of heaven and only trust, and trust only in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. No poor penitent sinner did he ever reject. None was he ever known to cast away. And if you come and trust in his righteousness alone to justify you, and to give you acceptance with God, and a title to eternal glory, you will be the first that ever perished at his feet, if you perish there. Hear the Father and your God say, As your day, so shall your strength be. As your day, each new burden shall bring its support, each new difficulty its guidance, each new sorrow its soothing, and each new day its strength. Be it your only care to deny all ungodliness and to walk worthy of your high vocation, to separate yourself more wildly and distinctly from the world, its practices, and its spirit, more closely to resemble Christ in his gentle, charitable, forgiving temper, and yielding yourself more entirely to the disposal of the Lord, and to do as seems him good. And when called to meet death, to hear the summons that bid you rise, that when all other things are receding from your view, and all our voices are dying upon your ear, Jesus will approach. And amid the gloom and steadiness of the shadowy valley, you shall see his person and hear him say, Do not be afraid, only trust.